All right, so here we are at the property for uh, Lord's Hill. I think it's at 1055. So it's walked in here. This is the front door. And the closet, coat closet right there. You have a big window here, another big window here. The blinds were so closed that you get a lot of light in here. Like the flooring here is really, really nice. This is the nice uh, panel flooring throughout the living room and the kitchen. Good size little living room. So you walk in here, living room here. You have a loft up there and then the railing here. They uh, installed this. I was guessing they had, must have had either kids or, no, I'm pretty sure they had a dog. <laughs> Anyways, I wish you got the rest of this. So you walk through here, go into the kitchen. Nice little kitchen, you know? You have uh, stainless steel appliances. You have this thing here that hang pots and things like that. Plus, it's a light. This is uh, pretty sure it's there, so I'm probably going to take it. It looks pretty nice right in the center of everything. Big refrigerator. You have the pantry right down here. So plenty of room in the pantry as well, since you don't have a lot of cabinet space here. Um, and then over here, you're going to have you know, this nice light fixture here. I guess the table kind of goes here and you have a little family room here with a fireplace, right? Pretty nice big window over here as well. And then you have this over here. I'm going to step outside really quick so I can check it out. So you have a, this, this uh, good sized deck, really nice. Most, maybe, maybe some of it needs to be kind of, you know, replaced, but nothing, nothing crazy that I'm seeing. At least from what I can see here. Then you have this here to provide some shade as well. Uh, this neighborhood here is up in uh, Fountain. Pretty nice. You, know, you have, you see a lot of neighbors from here because you're, you're, you're in some hills up here. Um, but a good size yard too goes all the way out there. You have a doghouse there. This one definitely has AC and everything, but let's go ahead and turn it here. So kitchen and everything, pantry, you have the living room and over here you have a couple of doors. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the guest restroom. And here it is. Guest restroom. You know, pretty much all said. This house looks like you wouldn't have to put much many money into it. This here is going to be just storage. And uh, it looks like you have access to the crawl space there. And then over here, this is a garage here. So pretty good sized garage. Two car garage, a little, a little wider than usual. Then you have Shelving over there, shelving on top of there. Good amount of space, so it's not bad. So, yeah, security system. Again, yeah, nice, nice home when it comes down to it. Like, I'm not seeing anything that really needs. Maybe if you want to take this off, but I don't know, right? Let's go up here. This is going to be to the upstairs now. Here are the steps. I'm looking at the carpet, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. I think it's actually brand new so we haven't seen this yet you have a loft here this if you want a fourth bedroom too easy man you already have a closet here so it's kind of already designed to be a fourth bedroom but when they had it built they decided just what well, they prefer the loft finish up the wall here you get a you get a door right here there's your fourth bedroom here's a or you can turn it into an office or whatever here's a the linen closet. So here's a stairway. You have some railing here. That's the master bedroom. And you have two more bedrooms over here. So go straight. Here's a bedroom here. Nice, nice little nice colors. They have a, a darker blue and a light blue. And you have the closet there. Uh, a decent size, looks like it's 11 by 11, maybe a 12 by 12. This one's slightly bigger than this, than the other one over here. This one, you have a view of the yard. You can kind of see, 
get a little view of the, the neighborhood. Pretty, it's a nice, it's a nice area. This is part of, this is the nice part, nicer part of Fountain. Northern part of Fountain, you're really close to the I-25. Uh, there's that one Safeway and where the Lowe's is and everything. Where you're pretty much, you're pretty, you're pretty close to all of that. Here's the laundry. You go out here, and over here you have the restroom. So you have ceramic tile. There's your vanity. Nothing new, really. Uh, like an aqua blue color for the for the paint. Just on one side of the, just on one wall, just on this wall. Yeah, because this wall doesn't have it. All right. And there's your shower. And then over here you have the master bedroom. Walk in, vaulted ceiling, ceiling fan. You have a closet over here. You have another closet over here. Okay, this is a walk-in. This is a sliding door closet. And then uh, that's your view there. So the front yard. Sorry, it's like it's focusing. So there's a front yard there. And over here you have the restroom. Same flooring as uh, as the flooring in the first floor. Here's your shower tub combo, double vanity, light fixtures, big mirror and everything. You have a window over here as well. So this is a master bedroom here, different angle. Nice house, priced really well, nice little area. Here you have, um, you can kind of see down in the, in the living room. So it's, it's pretty cool. I, I didn't notice that ceiling fan, but you do have the high ceilings here. Really nice house, man. I'm gonna get you some footage of the neighborhood right now. So that's the house. I forgot to get footage of the <laughs> I already jumped into my car, but um, you can kind of see the neighborhood here. I'm gonna drive around right now either way, so you can kind of get a look of everything. So this is the neighborhood here. Again, we're in uh, the northern part of Fountain. We're in, right, right now, what I'm gonna do is just gonna get out of the neighborhood and kind of drive towards um, that little shopping center where Safeway is. But don't, overall, this this is a nice neighborhood. People, people like this this part of Fountain. It's newer, it's, uh, it's up in the hills, it's quiet. You have to get a lot of military here, and it's also priced really well, too, you know? But right, right here, down this road, you're gonna hit a park. That's Cross Creek Park. It has like a lake and everything. It's, it's a nice little, it's a nice area. You know, it has a big green field. It has a little playground too it's pretty much all over there all of that I'm gonna drive through this neighborhood over here I can't make a left here right now I could make a left and get to that shopping center but they're doing work over there so there's a detour this way which will pretty much allow me to pass by the park so you can kind of get a good look at it. You can kind of see the lake over there. So this is another part of another um, nice community in, in Fountain. It's a fairly new community too. Probably like no more than like 10 years here. As you can see, nice houses. You just drive across here to get to the other side of the, the park, and uh, there's an exit over there. I, I live like five minutes from here too, so.
So this is the other side of the park. It's nice to have a trail over there that you can run or walk, walk your dog. Uh, they have a big field over there for like football and soccer. A playground over here for smaller kids. So if I go over there, I, I can hit Powers and take it north. And that'll take me to Colorado Springs. And I can go this way here. That'll take me straight to that shopping center. And, I'll, and then where that road is, Mesa Ridge Parkway, that'll take me straight to the I-25 too. Mountains, everything. And the shopping center is literally right there. We're approaching it right now, so. Right there you have a Safeway, you have, I don't know, Dollar Tree, you have a bunch of little restaurants, liquor store. And things like that. Looks like they're building a couple of houses over here. So that took about four minutes or something. So again, you know, you get here, you get die from this point on, you get I-25. That's Mesa Ridge Parkway over there, that main main street. Take you up to Powers, take you to die to the I-25, and from there you can take it into Colorado Springs, pretty much almost anywhere. But I'll uh, go into another house right now, and I'll get you some footage of that one.